Hello, 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 and welcome back to my channel. Hi, honey. Oh, my goodness. I'm getting his leg. All right. Say hello to Baby Pone. You being shy? Oh, hi. Hello. Hello. Encore, you want to explain to the people why you're out here? You want to explain to them why? He's like, no, I just want you to rub me. Rub me. You want to explain to them why you're tied to the tree? No. Okay. All right. I'm glad I have the shirt on because I'm supposed to be headed to dinner. But, um, Encore is tied to this tree because he keeps busting through the fencing at the back of the pasture. Yeah. So I did a little bit of a fix this morning. I thought was going to solve it, but it did. And, and this is one of the times when dealing with horses um, or animals, anything, multiple things can be true. Okay. I fixed the fence in the area that he had been escaping in and he chose another area to escape from. So multiple things were true, okay? All right? So he is tied here because him and his brother cannot be out loose at the same time or they like to leave together. Yeah. So Maestro is loose and Encore is tied. Works better that way. Um, but yeah, I'm a little done up still. Oh, hi, baby. Little done up still. My sister got married yesterday, so we had a funky good time. And, um, oh my goodness. Are you rubbing on me? You want me to get this off of you? Get it off of you? The drama. So my hair is curled from her wedding. Um, but he's encore started. Okay, too much. Encore start, started all of these shenanigans this weekend, and we've been doing so much stuff for the wedding. He is such a pest. Y'all, you see what I have to deal with? <laughs> Let me stand up. Oh. We have had to deal with um, all of the stuff from the wedding all weekend. We did a barbecue on Saturday, a cookout. And, um... <sighs> prep for that Friday, did that Saturday, wedding on Sunday. I haven't had time to actually fix the fence in a way that's helpful and more permanent. Um, so Encore has had to be uh, banished back to his quarters in the trailer, the horse trailer that's here in the pasture. So I'm in giving him water and hay in this trailer, which I used to have to do when he didn't stay here full time because the fencing in the back of the property was not conducive to keeping him here at all. But we fixed that, what we, what we hoped we fixed it, but now he's just finding ways to get out. So. There's two things. Either this next fix that I have in mind that we're going to do tomorrow will solve it and he will stop escaping at least for a little while. Or he'll be coming back to live with me in Goldsboro. And we'll have to deal with the back and forth again. So, um, I'm going to prepare his his quarters for tonight um, because we're going to dinner. <sighs> but yeah, this is like vlogging about day in the life, but you know, sometimes 
we feel like we have to do horses, do ag, do farming a particular way. Like if I'm not on a ranch, it doesn't count. But chow, the way I be having to fix fences and throw out this one ram bell and make sure my horses are good every day. Chow, this is weird. I'm filling up hay bags, okay? Egg does not have to look the same way for everybody. And this is one of the things that is really important to me about, okay, I'm gonna have to tie y'all to this cause I need two hands. Are you gonna stay? All right. This is one of the things, actually put it down cause we'll be down here. This is one of the things that is important to me about showing kids what agriculture is like through Cowgirl Cameron because it happens differently for different people. And especially as there's less and less traditional farms, that notion of big ag, you know, those farms are being consolidated and less families are owning them. So farm is, farming is gonna look different in the next few years. So what does it look like now, small scale? What does animal husbandry look like right now, small scale? What kinds of networks and, and community relationships need to be built now? Like a relationship with a hay guy? Um, because the way I am so thankful that my father has a relationship with a hay guy um, in supporting my animals. I, I couldn't do this without that. Um, so, you know, this is, we don't really have to come up with new imagery. This is a return to what things were like before. And so, that's why, you know, in thinking of world building with Cowgirl Cameron, I'm just so excited to reimagine, imagine for myself based on the stories that my family has told me growing up um, and being able to share that with kids today. So, just wanted to take you along on this journey as I get us all squared away here. On course, night in the trailer, so we can go to dinner. Um, yeah, I haven't made a lot of posts about it. Um, but the Kickstarter, I, I have to do some work on it tomorrow or later tonight. But the Kickstarter is gonna go live next week. Do y'all know what next week is? In eight days? Do you know? Encore, do you know what next week is? Do you know, baby? What's that? Next week is Cowgirl Cameron Day, August 13th. And that is my goal for releasing the Kickstarter. <laughs> kind of nervous. Um, and I have been doing research in groups. There are particular ways or particular traits and activities of, you know, some of the most successful Kickstarters. Um, I decided to do this with a lot less of a runway. So... Um, I don't know what the success will be, right? I don't, I don't know what the, what the response will be, but I'm really hoping that Cowgirl Cameron and the Funky Fleece fiasco is going to be a story that people feel connected to, like Encore is connected to me right now and does not want to go to his trailer quarters.
I know, darling. It sucks. But you like to escape, so I don't know what else you want from me. Come on, get in there. See, I mean, he doesn't really want to do it. Oh, he wanted some water. I know, I feel that your water for you. My goodness, I'm a thirsty boy. You see, he didn't want to do it, but he did it. He is not. Easy, easy. I'll take this off of you and I'll get out of your hair, literally. There's a lot of things he doesn't want to do, but he does them. He's not insubordinate. He just has questions, okay? Um, but yeah, I'm hoping that Cowgirl Cameron and the Funky Fleece fiasco and the additional announcements that I have coming out of that will um, really resonate with our Cowgirl Cameron by your besties. And everyone else who is not a barnyard bestie just yet, but will be one very soon. Time to go get the other. Hi, honey. Hi, baby. My handsomest boy. Look at him, y'all. He's so beautiful. I'm fat belly. I'm baby fat belly. My goodness is. Look at that belly. That's hay belly. That's hay belly in that belly. I love you. You're so handsome. All right. I teach all my youngins this at an early age because their mom is the one that never gets a halter. Come on, walk on. Yeah. I ain't got time. I ain't got time all the time to be grabbing a halter. <sighs> yes, yes, yes. Just gonna try to get one more mouthful before going in. Are you? No? All right, you've had enough. Lovely. Yep, get you some water. And he has, he was free. He could have came in here and got water anytime he wanted, but he did not want to take the chance. And he was going to be tossed, tossed back into the pasture before he was ready. All right, that's their night night. I love you. You're so handsome. I love you. I mean it. I mean it. Why do you have? Okay, this halter has been rubbing his face raw. Spray some fly spray on his face. Sorry, it's gonna get in your water. I'm sure it just ran down your nose. That halter rubs his face. I think I'm gonna need to get a new one anyway. But yeah, thank you for joining me on our nighttime routine. A day in the life. What's Cargo Camera say? Just another day on the farm. <laughs>